Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers creating the Oklahoma W 2 E file through E File Direct. Once the file is created, it is the user's responsibility to upload the file to Oklahoma. To begin, the pair ABC Payroll has been created and the W 2 form data has been entered. Make sure the W 2 state information in box 15. 16 and 17 has been filled out as needed. To begin, at the main menu, select eFiler. This is the eFiler menu. Select eFile Direct. Now, click OK. The eFile Direct options include Type of Form and Taxing Authority. In the Type of Form section, select W2. Next, select the Taxing Authority. Oklahoma. To continue, click OK. The transmitter information is the person submitting the file to Oklahoma. You will need to contact Oklahoma to see if they require a user ID. Fill out the necessary information. Leave the foreign country blank, if it is USA. Leave the optional transfer agent information blank. It is only used in federal e filings. Click OK to continue. Next check the pairs that are to be included in the e-file. Multiple pairs can be selected. For the tutorial, select ABC Payroll. Once all pairs are selected, click OK to continue. The global questions are very specific questions about federal W-2 e-filing. Select Do not edit special pair info at this time. Leave the default kind of pair as O for all pairs. Click OK. This prompt will display for each pair that has been selected. If multiple pairs were selected, answer the prompt for each one. Make sure to select Skip if the pair does not have any W2 data. Otherwise, if no data exists the process will abort. Click Process. At this point, the pairs are being processed for any errors or warnings. In the activity window, the pairs can be monitored as they are being processed. When the processing is complete, the total count of all records will be the last item in the display. Please verify that the numbers are correct. Records can be excluded because they are marked as omitted. For the tutorial, there are 8 records read, 8 records processed and zero records excluded. If the numbers are not correct, stop and research the reason why there is a difference. Now the file needs to be saved. The default location is the 1099 ETC program directory. Oklahoma wants a specific file name, please do not change. The location can be changed. VTML speed. Click save. If there are any errors, they must be fixed or the file will not be created. If you add other pairs to process, select Process More Pairs. This will take you back to the Select Pair screen, where you can select other pairs to include in the file. To continue, select All Pairs Processed. Click OK. If there are warnings or errors, please view or print the activity output. Here is an example of the activity output. It will list each warning or error, the record number, and the field that is incorrect. This information will display for each pair that is included in the file. Errors must be corrected. The file can be created with warnings. Once there are no errors, we recommend that you view or print the transmittal report. Here is an example of the transmittal report. In the first section, it lists the file name and location. You will need this when uploading the file. The second section displays the transmitter information. The third section is a summary for each pair that is included in the file. This is a great way to verify that the totals are correct before uploading the file. Remember the transmittal report is for your records only. When finished printing the activity or transmittal report, click Quit. At this point the file has been created, and it is now the user's responsibility to upload the file to Oklahoma. For further questions, 
Please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.